Our community health assessment work has been going on for a long time. This video will help share some historical context for this work starting all the way back in 1995. To put it simply, the health department used to lead a large countywide partnership of organizations and individuals called the Health Improvement Plan, or HIP. In the past, community health assessment work was part of what that HIP partnership did. While the HIP partnership came to an end, we are still doing this work. We simply refer to it as our Community Health Assessment now, or CHA for short. Though some specific methods have changed, these processes share the same goal of learning about our community's health needs and working to address them. The process we use now helps us focus more on health equity and community engagement when doing this work. The health department used HIP survey data to guide our work from 1995 to 2015. The last HIP survey was conducted in 2015 and we are not doing another HIP survey. While we have been doing community health assessment work for a long time, we started using a different, more formalized process in 2013. As part of this newer process, in addition to a CHA, we also created our first ever CHIP. CHIP stands for Community Health Improvement Plan, and that's the part of this process where we put what we learned from our CHA into action. By 2015, we started using a national model for improving public health through community-wide strategic planning called MAP, Mobilizing for Action Through Planning and Partnerships, to guide our CHA. The health department chose to use MAP because it encourages community engagement and emphasizes health equity in all phases so that action is focused on addressing unfair and unjust differences in health. In 2015, we were ready and excited to start a new CHA process with a clear focus on health equity. We recruited a wonderful steering committee called the Health for All Steering Committee and ensured we had adequate health department staff time to support working together on a CHA. Then COVID hit. And while our passionate new steering committee was able to work together on several COVID-related advocacy issues, our health department staff were redirected to COVID work and were not able to support any CHA work. This steering committee ended once their two-year time commitment was completed. And that brings us to today. At this point in the pandemic, the health department again has staff time to dedicate to CHA work. To ensure a sustainable partnership and process, we are partnering with our existing Board of Health and Community Voices team on this work. To sum it up, the health department no longer uses a HIP partnership. We use the MAP model to guide our community health assessment work today and moving forward. Thank you for your interest in our community health assessment. For more information and updates, check out healthforallwashtenaw.org.